YouTube, we are back with another break, and this time it's one that uh, hasn't been done in almost 20 years. That is right. Tops is finally back in the NBA market with uh, uh, Tops Chrome Basketball 2023-24. Uh, so we're, of course, looking for that guy on the cover, Victor Wimbanyama. Uh, big ad for them was getting LeBron James to sign autographs in this product as well. That's obviously driving up, uh, you know, the price of this and all that. So, uh, yeah, we shall see how we do. Uh, today we're going to be doing two different versions of the product. This is the Breakers Delight box. We'll set that one aside. And then we have our Hobby Box, kind of to try to determine which value might be better. Both boxes well over the $500 range on the secondary market right now. Um, I think if you're lucky enough, you might be able to snag them on the Fanatics or Top site for less than that. I think I saw that maybe even like $300-ish or so. So that's a great deal. Um, you know, in that terms, I've kind of been joking with my friends that this is kind of called Optic Light. <laughs> um, the reason being is because Optic for Panini, of course, uh, you get, you know, one auto per box, about five to six numbered cards, and then the boxes are about 500 bucks. Optic obviously has their own version of kind of the Breaker's Delight with the choice boxes. Um, so the difference here is uh, no license, obviously. And uh, yeah, price point, though, about the same. Each of these also comes in 12 box cases. Uh, the hobby, as you can see here, has about 12 packs per box. The Breaker's Delight will just be one. But yeah, we're going to compare and contrast to see what's the value, right? So obviously with hobby, they're going to get a lot more base cards, which, you know, and this product, there's some value to that because there are a couple rookie cards, a la Victor Wimbanyama. That could give you a little bit more value. You also get the insert cards in the hobby versus the Breaker's Delight, which has one insert, but it's a geometric parallel and you cannot get some of those case hits like the Let's Go. Um, so yeah, this is your design. Um, to me, it leaves a lot to be desired. It's not only the airbrushing, the sell sheet for the football, they've got like background behind them, like they're actually on the field. This looks more like early 90s finest to me. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, love calling it chrome we've got Jawan howard barnes there's our first rookie card olivier maxine prosper De'Aaron fox so yeah really airbrushed right like no sack across his jersey the number is like higher i don't know why they did that not just put it in the normal spot maybe to try to center it make it look a little bit better we've got cole anthony it looks like in this pack we've got a refractor and maybe a prism so this is our first refractor and that is Deer and Fox. So starting off with somebody we've already hit. Uh, so yeah, tops, tops going tops, right? Collation issues, a plenty. No rookie card here, right? I think the rookie logo is there. Dwayne Wade, that's a cool one. Used to be a big Dwayne Wade fan. So Dwayne Wade was uh, was actually active in on the Miami Heat the last time I believe Tops Chrome came out. And then a nice one here to end it. Brandon Miller on the Youthquake insert. I don't know, four or five bucks release day type card, right? It looks nice. Youthquake throwing it back to the Kobe Bryant days. So yeah, there you go. So two nice little cards to kind of start us off and pack one. Again, uh, all these boxes, you're going to get two autos, uh, whether you do Breakers Delight or Hobby uh, Blasters, you're, you're looking at a lot uh, tougher chase. There's James Harden. Last time James Harden was in uh, Topps Chrome or Tops. Also, uh, you know, an airbrushed generic shot like that. So that's kind of funny. Full circle moment for James Harden. George Gervin. So you've got some legends mixed on along the checklist. There's Larry Bird. It looks like we got a pink refractor here. These are not numbered from what I saw. Um, so, yeah, I don't think this will be. Let's see what team. Memphis. Maybe Ja. Desmond Bain. Local Indiana guy. And then we've got our set. Oh, that's for San Antonio. Is there anybody else on this checklist? Oh, there is. Manu Ginobili. Negative. I hate the look of this card. That looks creepy, creepy to me. All right. And then our insert on the back is that Markel Fultz. You put Markel Fultz in insert sets. Who knows? That's weird. That's a weird card. 
like zero reason to have Markel Fultz in the set, let alone in an insert card set. Nobody's been chasing Markel Fultz since like 2017, 18. Looks like we got our first numbered card here. The numbered cards are the backwards ones from what I've seen. The autos tend to just be face forward. So Gigi Jackson, probably our first good rookie. Ben Shepard for my local Pacers. You can see I've got my Tyrese Halliburton in-season tournament card there. And then we've got Orlando. Is this more? Okay, I was going to say it's another Markel freaking Fultz. All right, and then Lenny Wilkins is our numbered card. Kyle Kuzma on the insert on the back. Lenny Wilkins, just the purple. That's kind of a funny card. Lenny Wilkins, man. I don't know who else is going to be chasing that. Again, kind of going back to this. I mean, the the real chase is Victor cards, right? The the rookie card looks clean because it's like not really showing the fact that it's a non-licensed card. And the uh the you know, the autographs kind of are the same version of that. Looks like we got another numbered coming up. Jarris Walker, another Pacers one. You can see here with the rookies, they tried to kind of hide the fact that, you know, they're not licensed. Leaky Black, same deal, right? They're kind of hiding the Charlotte on his jersey. Funny that they can include the the uh, Jordan logo, but not the, um, the NBA stuff. Maxwell Lewis, David Thompson. Our refractor is a New York guy, Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson. And Tim Hardaway Jr., and then a destiny of Colby Jones. Yeah, I don't know what destiny Colby Jones really has. Our Tim Hardaway is a Aqua to 199. So so far, two higher-ish numbered parallels. Um, you know, I don't know what the breakdown will be. I think you're supposed to get about five numbered cards per box, though. So we are nearing the halfway point. Still no auto, and still no victor cards. Hoping for at least an insert, Victor. We've got another pink here, it looks like. I thought they were only one a box. Taylor Hendricks, Jed Howard, Fournier, Jalen Hood Shafino, IU guy, Walker Kessler. It's the first pink there. And then we've got, that's not Victor, Portland. Anthony Simons, another guy. It's like, why is he in here? And a Carl Anthony Town. So these are the cards abundantly clear that the license just hasn't happened. I think in football, from what I've seen, the reason that they can hide it so well is the fact that, like, the helmet, you can, like, turn the guy so he's facing the, the photo. So that's going to hide the fact that the, the logos aren't on the helmet. And then also just the, the shoulder pad is normally where the logo is, too, on the football jerseys. And if they're turned sideways that way, also not going to show that shoulder sleeve. So I think football just, yeah, a better opportunity to really hide that stuff. Got Whitmore, Brown, Ben Wallace, Jordan Hawkins, Grant Hill on the refractor, and then... Malik Monk, man, we are really just knocking these uh, numbered cards out of the park. Malik Monk to 99. Oof. This has been brutal so far. And again, you're talking about $500 a box, right? So I'm hoping we've hit three numbered so far. We have two left. Hopefully, like, one low-numbered rookie card amongst that. Um, I don't know what that is on the back. Oh, it's another. Uh, sorry, shouldn't be showing you guys the back card that quickly. Um Ooh, our first auto, and it looks like it's a gold refractor. Okay. All right. All right. Show me something pretty, Tops. Show me something pretty. It is a rookie auto to 50. Oh. <laughs> oh, you could have been Victor. You could have been the chosen one. Maxwell Lewis, gold, quote, unquote, color match auto. Man, that's tough. Uh. Prosper yet again, Shaden Sharp and uh, Jaime Jaquez again. Yeah, just like I don't understand that. I don't get why you would make their numbers so high. Um, I understand that you like can't put Dallas on the front of his jersey. I get that, but I just I don't know. I just think you could you could have done a better job of figuring out a way to uh, to hide that hide the fact that they're not licensed. You know, like that's that's obviously what they're trying to do there with Koulibaly. Um, this is only a 190 card set. So, you know, theoretically, maybe every other hobby box should have a, oh, for the love of God, don't do it to us again. Two Manu Ginobili's, two Spurs refractors in one box. We do have a Keontae George numbered card. Please be something good to 299. So one of the better rookies, at least we got one decent numbered rookie card amongst that box. Uh, we got Manu, and then we got Chet on the uh, 
the insert there at the end. I don't know, guys. You know, I was a little bit excited about this, or or I should say I was um, cautiously optimistic. I wasn't pessimistic in the way that I think a lot of people are. I mean, a lot of people are very down on the fact that there's no licensing. Sir Other Auto, is that Jairus Walker, maybe? Hey, Gigi Jackson, that's not bad. Hey, at least one decent rookie auto. This is like the throwback. I believe that's like a 1979 James Harden. Anyway, I believe that's like the 1979 tops design 72. So GG, our first like decent hit full, full signature from GG. That's nice. Tatum on the negative Harden on the regular and then a Koulibaly destiny. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, is this, you know, I will say this, like, you're going to get a lot of volume, right, in a hobby box. So if you can sell early, you might not fare too terribly. But, um, you know, like Lee and Robin's base cards, we're just kind of wasting our time. Jawan Howard, it's almost like, should you just give us a box where it either does or does not have a Wimbanyama autograph or LeBron autograph in it and then go from there? Um, so we've got Orlando yet again. Cole Anthony. That's our second Cole Anthony. We've hit two Cole Anthony's and two Manu Ginobili's. That's horrible collation. I should not be hitting the same players multiple times in the same box on my parallels. That just like really waters it down. We've got another numbered here. Uh, and yet again, it is, I'm just going to skip right to it. It's Keontae George. So really, really doubling down on the parallels. That one is much nicer. That is to 75. So that is like a light blue. I think regular blue would be to 150. So I'm going to call that light blue. So two Keontae Georges could have easily been two victors, right? <laughs> Given the collation. So if you get a box and you get a victor parallel, celebrate because you might have a second one in there. Uh, we've got Walker Kessler and then we've got Arvidas Sabonis on the refractor. And our first refractor insert is Jalen Green coast to coast. Last pack of the hobby box. My reaction, not very good. I just, I mean, we haven't had a single victor card. That's kind of like the poll is like you you get more opportunity because there's inserts. There's, uh, oh, there we go. There's the base rookie. As of this morning, these were still $100. So uh, that just saved a ton of that box to have that victor card in there. Uh, even though it's just the base, that's still, you know, going to go a far away. So nice to know that he's kind of got that bluer background. Sabonis, so Toronto, we've got Scotty Barnes, Memphis rookie, Gigi Jackson. Gigi Jackson, Prism, that's solid, I guess. And then our last card, Ben Shepard on the Destiny for my Pacers personal collection. All right, guys, it all comes down to this. From what I have seen, these have been better. Granted, you're paying more to get into one of these boxes. Uh, so you've just got your one pack there. It is, as you can see, 12 cards. I believe it's like five regular refractors, four or five numbered cards. So that's 10. So four numbered cards, a numbered, another parallel insert, and then two autos. That's your breakdown. So we will start off. I'm going to try to not show the back because that's our first numbered card. Try to avoid the back card. And then, yeah, we've got our five refractors on the top. So DeJounte Murray. Um, Carl Anthony Towns. I'll just put these here. Carl Anthony Towns. Detroit, non-rookie. Rasheed Wallace, throwback guy there. Philadelphia, AI. Is that four? So we have one more here. Atlanta, Trey Young. Dominique Wilkins. This first one, this is going to be our uh, parallel insert card. I don't think these are... Oh, we've got one more refractor. Sorry. Portland, Clyde Drexler. So actually, was that six? We might have gotten an extra card in this. This is our parallel insert card. Finesse. Giannis, that's cool. All right. Our autos are behind that. And then we've got uh, three to four... Um, numbered behind that we did get a gold geometric that will be to 50 if that's victor that has saved this entire break first one to 119 so random that is a purple parallel of portland shade and sharp yeah that's not keeping the keeping my money back 
All right, next card is, it is a rookie. All right. It's not the right colors in the background, but it is a rookie. Washington. Koulibaly? Okay. I hit him in everything. I do like his upside. Um, I'm just not sure that a uh, Koulibaly um, in parallel from this will do very well. He doesn't sell that great in the first place, let alone in this. Our last card is a gold that is not a rookie card. Philadelphia Iverson. Oh my, that's literally the worst guy in the entire set. Why is Nicholas Batum in a set when you have 190 players? I know that like Michael Rubin owns the Sixers and he's probably friends with Nicholas Batum, but that is a worthless card. That That's like the most, Jesus, that's so bad. All right, we've got our two autos here. Wow. Brandon Clark is the first one, and Latrell Sprewell. I'm speechless. This is trash. Yeah. I wanted to believe in Topps Chrome. Uh, I saw Pac-Man's break. You know, I know he hit a Wimby, but um, this might be the worst box. Maybe I just got the worst box of all time. Trust me, like, I know who Latrell Sprewell is. I know that Latrell Sprewell was a really good player in the 90s. Um, I know that Latrell Sprewell is very popular amongst Knicks fans, which, thank God, this is what the team is. Brandon Clark is a career role player who, like, nobody is after since his rookie season. Um, the best card in that entire box was a Giannis insert. Oof, that's a thousand dollar kick in the shins, guys. That's that's the reality of this stuff. I mean, look, I will make a little bit of money back. The Victor base rookie is a lifesaver because had I not got that in that first box, it would have been even worse. I don't know what a non-licensed Gigi Jackson auto is going to do. I don't know what a non-licensed gold refractor Maxwell Lewis is going to do. I'm going to assume both of those cards are less than $20. So if you go back through that first stack of stuff, I mean, Batum to 50, trash. Koulibaly, non-licensed rookie, maybe 10 bucks. Shaden Sharp, nobody's searching for that. GG Jackson parallel, I'm going to call that $5. That's our biggest card. Keontae George to 75, not bad. Keontae George to 299, meh. Refractor of Prosper. Nobody wants a Malik Monk. I mean, people will want a Malik Monk to 99, but not many people. Grant Hill Refractor, Walker Kessler, just like totally terrible airbrush photo. Anthony Simons, again, why is he in this? Um, don't get me wrong. I think that Simons is a nice player. It's just like, why? Jalen Brunson, at least a good player. Tim Hardaway Jr., another guy that's like, why are you in here? Lenny Wilkins, Brandon Miller, and Dwayne Wade. So save your money. Seriously. Um, yeah, no, I just, I, I just don't see it. I, I think that it's a huge gamble. That's the reality. Um, there is few and far between what you can get that would even scratch the surface of getting your $500 back. Um, and that, that's pretty much Victor autos and, and LeBron autos. And from what I can tell, yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of them. Actually, there are more Victor autos, uh, that I've seen already posted, um, than I expected. Like there's gold, there's oranges, there's reds, there's non-numbered base autos. Um, but for every one of those, there's probably 15 Juju Jacksons and 179 Maxwell Lewis's. So yeah, uh, disappointing results, obviously. Um, I'm going to have to wax poetic on whether or not I push my luck. Um, but I think I'm probably just going to save my money and understand it wasn't meant to be. I wasn't meant to get a Victor Auto. I had been excited about that opportunity, excited about the chance to get the LeBrons. But uh, this is the real story of it all, I think. I think this is probably a real story. I mean, I opened two boxes um a lot of people you know can't afford to even do that i understand that um 
but yeah, that's a kick in the shins. So this is what it feels like when you lose money on gambling and I get it and I'm very disappointed and I wish this was a happier result. I'm trying to be as mellow as possible, but like no case hits in that box. We got a gold refractor in each, but yeah, there's just, there's a lot of players on this checklist that you're just like, why, why them? Why not somebody else? If it's a players union deal, there should be better people to put on the checklist than Nicholas F and Batum. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I am going to do some more tops on Friday. Uh, we will do some of the football. I'm going to do a, a breakdown of composite football of hobby versus um of uh sorry hobby versus breakers delight there my brain is just like what just happened <laughs> anyways guys thank you for watching i'll be back friday with that break for football um hoping for much better results the checklist is 10 times better for the football i mean everybody is an nfl hall of famer and if they're not they're cj stroud anthony richardson will levis or bryce young so um you're getting three autos a box on those two and the price point is much 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 more attractive Anyways, guys, thank you as always for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. See ya. Bye.